Welcome everybody to this new video of TechPress. Let's take a look into how we can withdraw your money directly from your Shopify into your bank account. The very first thing you want to do in order to get started is to sign into your Shopify store. As you can see, I'm already into my actual store. So the first thing you want to do is to focus into the store that you wanted to withdraw your money. As you can see, I'm already in here. And now what I wanted to do is to make sure that I do have my payments available in order to receive that money. So for this particular tutorial, we're going to be using PayPal. As you can see, I do have my PayPal account already been signed in. So once I do have my PayPal into a new tab, I'm going to go back into my Shopify. Then later on, I'm going to go into settings down here, as you can see. Now, what I want to do is to focus into the left part and look out for payments. Inside payments, I wanted to make sure that I do have the payment method already been improved. So um, depending on what is the actual element that you choose to receive your money, this is the way how you're going to be receiving the actual money. For example, I'm going to hit into manage for the book is get away. For example, I'm going to hit into managed. And uh, here, uh, I do have an actual uh, account of Boogie's Getaway. If I have another one, let's say, for example, that I'm using Stripe or I'm just using uh, like a Visa, like a MasterCard, what is going to be happening here is that what I need to do is to go back and sign into my account when somebody purchases an actual order. Let's say, for example, from my product from Shopify and I use Stripe automatically this money is going to be redirected directly inside my actual account so if you go into your notifications into activity for example you should see that into your actual transactions you now received a payment from shopify so check this out for example this is the name of the actual person who bought one product that come directly from the actual shopify and this was generated uh, actually a few months before so if i go into my orders i should be seeing that my order appears in here the total amount the payment status the item the delivery method and the tax. so when somebody made an order when somebody purchased my item and in my case i used paypal this money should be reflected automatically inside my transactional details of PayPal. So as you can see, this was when generated at 10, 17 p.m. a.m. Sorry, the payment status is completed. The payment type is mobile payment. Here's the transaction ID. This is the actual gross amount. And there you have it. So as you can see, I do have all the information about this actual person who bought my product. This is the product that this guy bought, the quantity, the price, and the soap total. So if you just want to make sure that this money comes directly from your actual Shopify, you want to make sure that the name from this guy appears into the actual order transaction. This is how you can receive the money directly from Shopify. You need to first add your payment method. And when somebody buys your product, that money goes directly into your same payment method. And when Shopify wants to charge you for an actual plan or for an additional cost, an additional support stuff that you bought to this app, they're going to be taking care of that using another payment method just as you used to pay your actual plan app Shopify. So as you can see, basically, if you already have a payment added, you don't need to do absolutely anything but just to make sure that you receive your actual money. So in order to make my orders fulfillment, what I do is just to make sure that when this piece is paid, I wanted to go back into my PayPal and make sure that I have received my money. When I received my money this is when i now start to send the order to the actual person who bought my product so this is how i just get started to do a lot of stuff here into shopify so with that being said guys we're not reaching to the very end of the video so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel hopefully this was very useful for you guys uh just in case you have any questions you can leave it down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching the video and well hopefully i can see you next time